Hi, this is Joy the Cob Chick with the Keystone Cottage. I have the cottage behind me and a lot of you are wondering what are my plans as far as electricity and water. Well, frankly, right now, I'm not finding that I really need it because everything I need is actually a few steps away. So I don't know that I really need anything routed inside of the cottage. Nowadays, there are so many solar options and options as far as charging your cell phone with a battery pack, and that's really all that I need right now. So, um, and also if I do need water in there, I thought I could do some kind of tank with a pump, something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean I have to set up the entire system for electricity and water. But I will walk you around a little bit to show you some of the potentials that we do have out here and some of the, the possibilities and we'll just see what happens. I'll just show you what we have. So I think it was last year, my husband went through great lengths to bring electricity to the shed. So it's not 100% perfectly hooked up yet, but I wanna show you what we have. This right here, he set up this electrical box right here. And for those of you that are electricians, pardon me, I don't know all the language, but I will show you what I do have. Right here. And I have the shed that's behind me about uh, maybe 15 feet. So it's run underground and it goes to the shed if I need it to, um, which we do want that. Um, right now, we're just, uh, if we need anything in the shed, we're using it. Um, actually from this point right here, I should have showed you this sh uh, before. We do have electricity that is hooked up to here and this is water. So if we need water, we've got it all right here. We also have electricity and water over that way a little bit and I will try to remember to show you that. So everything, I mean, in the cottage is right there. So it's like water, electricity and cottage. Okay, so, um, but we have this and it runs a line to the shed behind me if we need it there and could potentially run to the cottage if we need it. But like I said, right now, we don't need it. So, uh, let's see here. My husband dug a line by hand because we didn't want to get a trench digger because uh, we didn't want to, we knew there was a line crossing in here somewhere, I think, with the well, and we didn't want to break anything. So he dug it by hand all the way to that post that you see over there. All right, and he also put a piece right here because we may be putting a pavilion here so um, it's just a matter of I guess building it if that's what we want to do so we're walking the line for where it was originally buried that he buried it and somewhere in here I think he buried an offshoot which goes to here so we can have um, electricity in the bathroom later on so that'll be nice that way we don't have to go pee in the dark uh, let's see and then over here oh my bad so on the side of the building, it looks a bit rough, but there's another water spigot right there. Okay, back over here. This is our main electric pole and so forth. And we also have electricity down here as well. So I know that it may not be very much, but it's really all we need right now. I'm very thankful for it. Um, also, let me show you this before I forget. So some of my plans, I would really like to put some sun panels up there. We get sun there pretty much all day long, um, except for right now because it's overcast. But anyway, I think two solar panels, however many will fit up there on that side, I think will do plenty well for whatever our needs are out here because we really, we're not out here very much. And even if we live out here, I plan on using very little electricity, you know, something like that or energy. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit like, subscribe, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this answers some of your questions that you had as far as electricity and water for what we need out here. Thanks. Bye.